action verbs in action. Now, the action verb is a word that we can use in our toolbox to help express greater action, meaning in narratives or sentences, and I want you to understand how important it is to use very powerful action verbs. Remember, when you are writing, you're trying to express something that is um, void or without facial expressions or body language. So it's important that we are constantly revising to make for sure that we are expressing exactly what we are trying to express, especially when it comes to showing some sort of an action in a narrative or a personal narrative or something like that. So let's look at some examples here. We want to show, we don't just want to tell. An example of that is, I sat down at my desk. Now, what is the action in this sentence? Sat is the action. And sat is basically um, what the person is doing. I would be me. If I want to express this action in a greater way, I could use a different word. Now, we highly recommend that you use a thesaurus because a thesaurus will give you many other words that are synonyms to sat. They mean the same thing. So, let's say that I'm writing this um, narrative and the situation involves me being disappointed. I'm, I'm tired, I'm disappointed, something of that nature. If I just say I sat down at my desk, I see the sit. But if I say something like plopped down at my desk, whoa, that changes everything. It, it, it gives this totally new expression of action that the reader now has a mental mind movie of. And that, that's powerful and important. So that's what it means whenever we're talking about using action verbs in action, that we're actually putting them into some form so that it's not just the basic word. A, a, a very good example of the word uh, of that is the word went. I went to town, I went to the store, I went to my friend's house, all of those things. Well, went is so generic. What other word could we use in place of went? Well, let's say I was trying to express maybe I was in a hurry and I went to town. Now let's move on to persuasive writing. We're still going to stay within the context of a paragraph so we can get more practice writing paragraphs, but let's write a persuasive paragraph. Remember, we're starting with small compositions now, and we're going to move to the more difficult compositions later. So, let's talk about persuasive. Persuasion just means you're convincing your reader using facts and examples to support your opinion. So you want to make for sure that your opinion is very strong and that you are using powerful words to persuade your reader. You want to persuade your reader to either agree with you or to take an action. It just depends on the context of your persuasive writing, especially the prompt. So my prompt says, what is the best month of the year? And then I have to say why, explain why, and write a persuasive paragraph to detail your answer. Well, you're doing the best day of the week, but I'm doing the best month of the year. So, the first thing I'm going to think about are my favorite days, and obviously there are only seven days, so I can't write them all in the big open space and narrow it down to three and then to one. So I'm just going to do a smaller version of that, and that's okay. The planner that you, or the brainstorming organizer that you have in your book is it's starting with a whole bunch and then narrowing it down to three and then down to one. And you don't actually have to follow that completely, but it's good to try to think of as many things as possible as your overall brainstorm. Oh, I could write about this, I could write about this. But when you're limited like this, you just narrow it down. So probably, let's see, the months of the year. I really, really, really love February. And I like... Hmm, what other month do I like? I like May. Um, I love October because of the weather and the beautiful changes in the feeling of the 
air, and I love December. So I would say, what do I want to write about? It's between October and December. Now, as I decide which one I want to write about, I actually have to choose the one I think is best, obviously. But also, what can I, which one of these months do I have more information that I can write about? For me, it's December. So I narrow it down to December, and that's the month I choose. <clears throat> so whenever you are brainstorming, you're going to be doing days of the week. You only have seven to choose from, so your list will be much different. Unless you want to write all seven days at the top, because that's that's the truth. Now, I'm going to plan. So, let me use some colors again. I didn't use colors in the last one, but I think I will this time. So, my opening, I'm going to go a little higher, too, so I have more space. My opening sentence is, December is the best month. Now, remember, I'm not writing sentences. I'm just planning. And why? Well, hmm, details, weather, I love the weather this time of year, although this year it was very warm, and then my example would be cold number one, which is not really weather, but it's related, cold, um, snow, and sometimes ice. Now I'm ready to do the second detail, which is another thing that I love about holidays, holiday celebrations. We'll talk about that. So what do I mean by that with my explanation? would be, obviously, Christmas, food, presents, decorations, and also my birthday is in that month. We might throw that in there somehow. And then my closing. <clears throat> now, I'll have to get creative. So I'm just going to put December, the best. I know it says the same thing at the top, but this just gives me um, a, a starting point. Now, you might have noticed that when I planned this paragraph, in the expository paragraph, I wrote my two details first to support my topic sentence, and you can do it that way, and then do your examples. But in this one, the examples were coming to me, so I just went ahead and listed the examples of each detail. So you can do it either way. It doesn't really matter. Now I'm ready to write the paragraph, and... Let's take a look at how that is. Now remember, I'm only focusing on getting the content into sentences. If I have a burst of inspiration about how to say things, that's great too. But my content is ready. I'm just now ready to write the paragraph in and of itself. So let's look at the draft that I have created from my plan I'm simply taking the content and putting it into sentence form because I will revise it in the next lesson to make it better and communicate more effectively. So, December is the best month. December is the best month of the year. And then I said the weather. The weather is absolutely delicious. Now, I probably will not change that because I like that little power behind it and I'm trying to convince someone that it is the best. Um, Cold snow and ice. I love the temperatures and there's often snow and ice. And then holiday celebrations. There are also celebrations in December. So that's the other detail. Christmas food. In the last lesson we revised for word choice. Today we're going to revise for sentence structure. If you remember when I Draft, wrote the draft for my second body paragraph. I had a lot of little simple sentences, so I'm going to look for ways to combine them to make them better. So let's look at my second body paragraph. The iPhone allows me to connect in so many ways. I am always able to contact or stay in touch with friends and family. 
I can call them, I can send them, send texts. There are chat apps too. I can even Skype. So this is the section that I think I might want to change and combine some thoughts. So let's see here. I am always able to contact or stay in touch with friends and family. I can call them, comma, send text, comma, or even Skype. Because chat and text is almost the same. So I'll take that off. Now let's see, does that example support this detail? I am always able to contact or stay in touch with friends and family. I can call them, send texts, or even Skype. And I will say this, at the drop of a hat. That's good. Let's see what else. I can also stay connected to the world. I can see the weather and news and other people. So we have and and. I need to combine these thoughts.